Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on chumbacasino.com. I looked over the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at chumbacasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's chumbacasino.com and live the chumba life. No purchase necessary. BGW. Void were prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. A high profile Portland murder case. Now the premise of a new Lifetime movie. Our guest is playing a big role in this film. How to murder your husband. What a role to play. Steve Gutenberg. How you been, bud? I'm uh, really great and grateful every day. I wish you and your family good health and success. Yeah, happy New Year to you. I saw the uh, trailer for this How to Murder Your Husband, and I noticed you were rocking like a Tom Selleck mustache playing the role of Daniel Brophy, I think it is. And I'm wondering if you got any tips from Tom, because that is an impressive stash. Uh, no, I didn't, get any, <laughs> I didn't get any message from him about it. But yeah, the uh, the true life story of uh, Daniel and Nancy Brophy, uh, Dan Lee had, and actually I had to shave out back my hairline, and um, and Dan and and send my hair out for Dan, uh, and the story is about a couple who actually uh, had big problems, big big financial problems. So Nancy decides to take an insurance policy out on her husband, buy a gun online, and uh, write a blog called "How to Murder Your Husband." So what happens is he does it, he gets caught, uh, she allegedly murdered him. And she got convicted. But it's a fascinating story about a couple who were supposedly in love and uh, how this person was a a little bit off, mentally off. She decides to murder her husband in the house. And I think that that's what's really interesting about the story is that you're sleeping next to a murderer. That's a a fascinating part of life. Yeah, I I read some interesting stats, Steve. I mean, maybe you know if these are true or not, since you just played a role in this atmosphere. But I'm I'm reading that one out of five murder victims are killed by an intimate partner. And even worse, it says approximately two out of five female murder victims are killed by an intimate partner. So it's like, wow, you got to not worry about a serial killer. You got to worry about who's laying next to you at night. How do you feel at night when you go to sleep? You close your eyes okay, Steve? Uh, yeah, pretty decently. Um, we have a dog, so if my wife moves, the dog will get up. <laughs> nice. So. With Lucky Land slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. <gasps> no, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Got that going. The movie is called How to Murder Your Husband. It's the Nancy Brophy story. It premieres this Saturday, January 14th on Lifetime. And, of course, we're talking to the big star, Steve Gutenberg. And this is based on a true story, and it's a true crime, so it's like a big hit. People love true crimes, and we and people really like watching movies that are based on a true story. I always am curious, though, when they say based on a true story, what is the percentage of this that the directors and the producers put a little spice on it as opposed to sticking right to what really happened? Well, you know, it is a movie, so you want to create an entertaining venue. But the the movie really is didn't need much. It was just a fascinating story ripped from the headlines that you couldn't believe was true. And many times, you know, truth is, is, is stranger than fiction. For you, is it harder to, as an actor to play a fictional character, kind of like you did in Cocoon, or a real person like you are playing in this Lifetime movie coming up this weekend? Well, I, I think what's really great is playing a, a non-fictional character, you're able to go into the Internet, which is such a treasure trove of information. You can see what the person looks like, how he walks, how he talks, what he thought about, what he read, what he wrote, um, and all these videos that were on Daniel. So it was a great opportunity for me to mimic him and then go into my acting toolbox and figure out what was he thinking uh, and, how, and why he loved this woman so much. Uh, and I, I think that it's a great opportunity, but acting is acting. 
you get up every day, you do the same thing, you go to work, and you try to do the best job you can. But it's not easier uh, to work off of someone that you can get their cadence, you can act just like them, or I could maybe see where that could be more difficult because you want to do justice to the character. Um, but do you, can you say which one is, is tougher, or you're just saying to you, Steve, you're a pro, it don't matter, give me a script and put the camera on, I'm ready. You know, I've been doing the same thing for 47 years since I was 17, came out to Hollywood. I get up, I have my coffee, I have my breakfast, call my family and friends, and I go to work. And like a carpenter, you're either going to build an apartment house, you're going to build a, 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 an office building, you're going to build a private house, you're going to build a barn, you're going to build a shed. You go to work and you do the best job you can. And in acting, you use your craft and try to create a... A, 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 a believable scenario so people can um, jump on and make that leap of faith and uh, and forget their lives. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day a little. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. BGW. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. For a couple of hours. Well, I have some uh, fan questions, if you will. Uh, we have some of the movies that you were in, some of the big ones, and uh, some fans have some questions for you, so I'm hoping maybe you'll answer them. You were in so many great movies throughout the year. As you said, you've been doing this for a long time, but let's go back to Cocoon 1985, the Ron Howard film. What was it like having an alien share herself in the pool, and what were they called, like an- Antrions or something, in Cocoon? Yeah, I, I had a great opportunity to work with, uh, with with Tony Welch, who was a beautiful lady and very smart and a great actor. And you work with the great and talented Ron Howard, you're in good hands. Um, I had a great time. And also working with, of course, Brian Dennehy, who's just incredible. What was the experience like? I don't know how many people have made love to an alien. I mean, it seemed like you enjoyed it, but... Nobody really saw what happened. It wasn't love making. She was sharing herself. Do you remember that day of yeah. shooting? Yeah, it was fantastic. We shot in this wonderful pool, an indoor pool in St. Petersburg with somebody's house. Uh, and uh, and Tony and I became good friends. So it was a lot of fun. And it was great to use our imagination. And we had ILM, which was George Lucas's uh, visual effects company. And it was all good. It was just a great time. All right, let's move on to uh, Three Men and a Baby. Of course, big blockbuster, the biggest film of 1987, starring you alongside the great Tom Selleck and Ted Danson. I realize you're the youngest of those three, and I'm curious if you were intimidated at all working with those guys. I mean, they, especially Tom Selleck. I mean, it's hard to be a man and stand next to him and not be intimidated, right? Man, he, you know, first of all, he's a, 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 an incredible presence when he walks in. Um, and uh, good-looking as all hell. But he's a sweet guy, and he comes from a regular family, uh, hard-working people, and he's a hard-working guy, uh, and we just had a great time. And the same goes for Ted Danson, a wonderful, smart guy from Arizona, actually, um, and uh, terrific, great personalities on both these guys, generous actors, and dedicated to the craft. And whatever happened to the baby, Mary, uh, was that a twin actor, actress that was playing the baby? Actually, she was. She's a twin. And uh, those girls actually grew up. They're 35 years old now or 30 years old now. Um, And uh, Tom was really terrific. He created a way for Tom, Ted, and I to donate money to a college fund. So by the time that uh, they became of college age, that those monies were able to pay for their college. Very cool. That's a great story. Uh, We're talking with Steve Gutenberg. He has a brand new movie coming out, How to Murder Your Husband, based on a true story. The Nancy Brophy story premieres this Saturday on Lifetime. Another film that the guys brought up around the studio here, Short Circuit. I got to see that movie. I have seen Cocoon. I've seen Three Men and a Baby. Personally, haven't seen it. But people in the studio wanted to know how cool was it to work with uh, Johnny Number 5. He's the robot in the movie. Really terrific. The puppetry was just brilliant. In those days, 
<clears throat> we didn't have visual effects. We actually had special effects. So the puppets, we, all of Johnny Fives were actual puppets we, uh, and, and operated by sometimes seven to ten people doing all the different parts on the puppet. Very cool. And when you thought of the term AI back in 1986, it was a completely, to me, I guess, a different conversation than it is today. When you were filming that, I mean, did you have any idea that uh, this was a way before its time, too, to call out artificial intelligence in the mid-'80s as to where we are with AI now, cars driving themselves, robots serving you in the drive through I mean, it's crazy, right? Yeah. You know, it, 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 AI has really taken on an, uh, an, an incredible part of our lives whether it's the cell phones that we're using, the smartphones that we're using, the computers. Uh, you can walk into your house and talk to an Android and ask her to turn on the lights. Pretty terrific. Another, I'm a big fan of the Police Academy series, and of course you were a big star and a big part of that. An actor that you worked with that I'm curious to get your thoughts on him uh, as a person, and I know he's a funny comedian, Michael Winslow, it was amazing, especially in Spaceballs. Somehow could just light up a, a camera with the sound of his, his making noises, was he an interesting guy to work with? Michael's incredible. He's a really smart guy, very, very talented, and very generous. And he's got a gift from God, so there's nothing like working with a guy like that. And then finally, I'd like to know what it's like to work with the great uh, Sybil Shepherd. Of course, you're working with her on this uh, new film, How to Murder Your Husband, that uh, premieres this Saturday. But wow, I read somewhere that she at one time was intimate with Elvis. This woman has lived a lot of life, and uh, she's been a big star. What was it like working with her? Oh, it was fantastic. Uh, really super talented lady, and I've, I've been a big fan of her since early on when uh, she did uh, the last picture show, Heartbreak Kid, um, and Taxi Driver, of course, and Moonlighting. So she was so easy to work with, really a beautiful lady, a big presence when she walks in. It is Ryan here, and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper, a woo -er, a hand clapper, a high-fiver? I kind of like the high-five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At ChumbaCasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino-style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses, so don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. BGW group. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Uh, just incredible. Lovely, lovely person. And then a sweet soul that we lost here recently, uh, Kirstie Alley. I know you worked with her in It, it Takes Two. Uh, you, you guys were close when you, we were working on that movie, It Takes Two, right? Oh, yeah. Super talented, really generous, um, and a force of nature. When she would walk in the room, you knew Kirstie Alley was there. I do have a, a friend here who uh, wanted to ask your advice. For whatever reason, his, he's been with this girl for nine or ten years. And he's in his mid to late 40s. And recently, just in the last week or so, there's some uh, you know, serendipity, I guess, that I'm talking to you now. But he's, he's saying that his lady wants him to get a life insurance policy. And he, he re really was kind of taken back at it. Like, why, why does she want a life insurance policy? Then I mentioned this movie to him, and now he's like, whoa. He like blew him away. He's like, ask Steve what he thinks. Should he get the life insurance policy? Well, if you think <clears throat> if he thinks he's going to marry her and live with her the rest of his life, Absolutely. Um, and and he, he should get one of the life insurance policies that actually acts like a bank where you can put your money in. And if at any time you don't like what's going on, you can take it out and you've got your saved money. I'm surprised you're saying that as you just played the role of Daniel Brophy. And didn't he do the same? And it didn't turn out so well for him, Steve. Well, no, it didn't. Um, <laughs> it's a very, it's a very, very tough. It was a very, very tough game uh, for poor, for poor, poor Daniel. Well, I look forward to seeing the outcome. I mean, a lot of people know the outcome because it was such a high-profile case out there in Oregon, but uh, I'm excited to see it. I tried to watch it already, but unfortunately, it doesn't let you watch it until this Saturday when it premieres on Lifetime. Go watch it, How to Murder Your Husband, the Nancy Brophy story, going to be available on the Lifetime Network to stream after Saturday when it premieres. Steve, a big fan of your work, and thank you so much uh, and being gracious with your time. Appreciate it. My pleasure. You know a spot. But not just a spot, the spot. Actually, with the all-new Nissan Frontier, you know a bunch of them. But the key to these great spots? Being able to reach them in the first place. 
Your spot is out there. Find your frontier in the all-new 2023 Nissan Frontier with standard 310 horsepower, advanced tech, and 281 pound-feet of torque. With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.